Why was Sun Lijin sentenced like this? This group of people is a group of people who are stupid. If they want to conspire to overthrow Xi Jinping, or even kill Xi Jinping, they really have to do a lot of things very cleanly, or people like Sun Lijin, no matter what their background is, right? Just kidding with you. During the Cao Cao era, you guys wanted to assassinate the emperor because in China, except for Lu Qingshan and Zhang Zishen in 1949, there was no death penalty for officials of any level in the government. So these two had a reprieve. These few people have a reprieve. If there was a death penalty, all these people would have been sentenced to death, right? This is the crime of plotting to assassinate the emperor, right? Then this crime is serious. Think about who Xi Jinping is. Over the years, his central security bureau has been completely changed. The person who said this did not understand the central security bureau. Because of the Wang Dongxing incident back then everyone should know whether Wang Dongxing and Yi Jianying are members of the standing committee of the Politburo, and they were arrested. After this incident, after the Gang of Four was overthrown, the Central Security Bureau was the first to reform. This situation can't happen. The head of the Central Security Bureau looks like Wang Dongxing. If he wants to rebel, everyone will be arrested, assassinate the king and kill him. That's okay. So the Central Security Bureau. Let me tell you why this story was made up. He doesn't understand this part. This part comes from the army. This part comes from the armed police. Do you understand? Officials, political commissars, and leaders in both systems are dual track. With dual systems, whoever wants to have one mind, the other will restrict him. There is no replacement between the two sides. And people who just make up stories don't understand the basic mechanism, you know. Xi Jinping is actually very good. I like him very much because he is the propellant for the collapse of the Chinese Communist Party. There may be too many factors in him, from his heart, to his judgment on things, to his own knowledge, to doing things. The end of that kind of serious research is that he doesn't have any of them, understand, he only wants to play politics. Therefore, he will definitely let the contradiction between the Chinese Communist Party and the entire Chinese people be intensified in the shortest possible time, completely intensified. So this person should always rule because he is helping the party. Further down the point of collapse, Qin Jiwei's son is Qin. He is not a miscellaneous Xi Zhongzun, he has a lot of troubles. Really a lot of troubles. After the accident, many people behind him gave these leaders the children wipe their buttocks, that is, the children who were actually the leaders of this gang at one time. It's rampant. I'll wait a while, because I've written it before, but it's too big. It's not that I don't want to write it. Later, it's too big. You know, there are too many children involved in the leadership. There was a time before Deng Xiaoping did not crack down. You have no idea how rampant the leader's children were at that time, just kidding. Driving a car on the street, seeing a beautiful girl, and getting on the car and being raped, just like that, no matter who you are, you were for a while. The leader's children were all rampant to this extent, it really is like this. So, because they killed a lot of people, including Judah's grandson, the only grandson was slaughtered. So they restrained a lot, restrained a lot, but in the end, most of the leader's children were more keeper low profile, don't make trouble for the elderly. But there are still some leader's children who will be high profile, right? I also said it back then, the most high profile I've ever seen is Jiang Mianung, Beijing Daibao Hotel. Talking about his father, talking about Chinese bureaucrats, the physique and the shit they scold are all the same. 
Jiang Mianung was young back then, right? He was young 30 years ago. And now Jiang Mianung is probably not good anymore. Jiang Mianung is also old and cunning now. I don't like Li Keqiang. As I said, you are a prime minister. You have reached this position, right? I won't talk about what Li Keqiang did before, and I can't look down on it. It's always about face engineering and appearance engineering. The prime minister doesn't do anything. In the end, it's just because of the famous aircraft carrier. Question mark. China is full of experimental products from all countries. Don't go to see the aircraft carrier. Look at the aircraft on the aircraft carrier we are currently on. We now have carrier-based aircraft. Everyone knows it is J-15. Do you know whether that aircraft can be boarded? Ah, no. There are many problems with that plane. There are many problems. The wings are broken too much. It is not suitable for a carrier-based aircraft, so it can't take a few planes. You see American planes are all close together, China airplanes are so far apart when they are empty, because they will not work once they are put down, so they are folded. Can you just let it go? Can't we just release it on the track? Because the aircraft was not designed for boarding the ship, so it was too high above the ground, and the missile pylon had to take off all the wings and all the people could hang the missiles on their toes. It was extremely difficult, and it was inconvenient to refuel. The refueling point under the wing. The plane is not prepared for boarding at all, including its landing gear, its nose landing gear. Everyone knows that the runway is so short, it is very difficult to block the nose gear. And the sea is full of corrosion something, sea breeze, sea breeze with high salinity. All Chinese aircraft are on board, and all aircraft in the world are equipped with expensive landing gear. China is a pillar. This thing has a very short service life and high maintenance costs. Now that China has been working on carrier-based aircraft for so many years, we have started from her up to now. The U.S. aircraft carrier has not even had an aircraft that the world believes can be used as a carrier-based aircraft. Do you understand? China's J-10 router cannot be used as a carrier-based aircraft. It has to be used as a last resort. In a real war, it can't even exert 30% of its combat effectiveness. You just want to stop telling me about the new aircraft carrier. We don't even have a carrier-based aircraft. For so many years, we can't even get a suitable aircraft. Is the workload of the aircraft much larger than that of the carrier-based aircraft? Do you understand? Doing things is still an old habit, my old habit, presenting the facts and reasoning. So everyone knows that there will be drought next year, and severe drought in the past few years, do you understand? Meteorology, that is. The entire weather situation in China in the past few years will be severely drought. As for whether China's grain income can increase under the severe drought, it depends on the Communist Party. In fact, I have no investigation and research, and I have no right to speak. Is fake. I can only tell you that the severe drought, and the severe drought, as we all know, this time, including Chengdu, Sichuan, and other severe droughts, are all caused by man-made effects. Chinese meteorological experts, as everyone knows, because no one pays attention to meteorological research. They are all bureaucrats, so they have already been informed by many scenes that China will have abnormal weather scenarios this year, and there will be no super large-scale floods. But still bureaucratic, the water in the Three Gorges Reservoir was released in advance according to previous years, so there was no flood situation, no severe floods, severe droughts. And there was no water in the Three Gorges when there was a severe drought. 
Why was the severe drought in Chengdu, Sichuan province caused by a standard human factor? We all know that it was caused by human beings, but is there accountability? No one is held accountable. No one is held accountable. Because it is clearly the Chinese meteorological experts and the bureaucratic system that led to the formation of such a large-scale drought in China, which affected the lives of so many people in Sichuan and Chongqing, and no one is even held accountable. Everyone knows that this is caused by a system.